Hey guys, it's Tay here, and I'm back for another video of Is It Worth the Hype? Yeah. So, I'm really excited. I have five products, like last week, and I'm going to discuss if it's worth the hype or not. A lot of these products I got from beauty bloggers or beauty YouTubers, things that I've watched in the past, and I was like, I need to know if I can, you know, if it's really worth it. So, I decided to purchase all these products with my money and let you know if it's really worth the hype and if you should purchase them yourselves. Be sure to take this with a grain of salt and I'll tell you like specific products don't work with my specific body type but they may work with yours. So keep that in mind when you're watching this video. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to start with today is let's start with the body butter. The Body Shop Body Butter has been a cult product by many, many YouTubers. I haven't seen it as much in the blogging world, but it is very much loved in the YouTube world. And so I got it. This was only $5. So I got the mini size. And the large tubs are $20. Sometimes a little bit more. They usually are about $20. You can get them at Ulta. That's where I got mine at. This was only $5. Okay, so I don't like this product. Because when I put it on my hands, I feel greasy for like hours. I don't like that feeling. I hate it actually. It's one of the worst feelings ever. That's one of the reasons I never used to wear a lotion when I was younger. Is because I hated that feeling of all being having, it was like grease on your hands. And it was, oh, oh, don't like it. So, I'm not going to repurchase this and I'm definitely going to repurchase the $20 tub. Mm-mm, mm, -mm. mm, -mm. Now, if you are someone that that feeling doesn't bother you, then I would definitely say start out with a five, because this has lost me a long time. Like, I've tried to like it, guys. Look, I've tried to like it, and I just, I don't. I don't. But, um, I would say try out with a five dollar tub and see how you really like it, if you're interested and you don't mind, like, the different feelings of lotions. Um, and then if you do like it, then go to the 20, but I always start with something cheaper. For those that are like me and don't like that greasy feeling, then I would suggest the Triple Moisture Body Cream from Bath & Body Works. I have my scent in Beautiful Day, but they have a wide range of scents for all of their different scent lines. And this is just one that I really love. It goes on really easily. It goes strictly, directly into the skin. It doesn't make me feel greasy. It automatically makes me feel smooth, and it really does last a long time. So I would highly suggest this. This is $12.50 and you get a lot of products in there. It doesn't take much at all. So definitely worth it. Something else that is a been a cult cult product and I'm just not sold on it. I'm just just not sold on it. I got all over. It's the Glam Glow Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. Yeah. I'm not sold on it and this is why. Because it makes my skin so dry. I just don't like this one. Now, I haven't tried the new Thirsty Mud one. The green one that smells like fruit and everybody's in love with it. I definitely want to try that one because this one just isn't working for me. It's too harsh for my face. And that's saying something because I have acne prone skin. So, I can usually put a lot of product on my face. Now, I like the smell of it. A lot of people don't like the smell. I like the smell, but I would not repurchase this. And this one in particular, I do not think it's worth the hype at all. And this was like the one that everybody was obsessed with. I don't like this one at all. I wouldn't repurchase it. Um, I would definitely say try it. If you have sensitive skin, this is a no-go for you. You might want to try one of the other ones. Um, I got this one. It was... Was it $15? Yeah, I think it was $15. And this is just a small version. The large tub is 60 so... I don't know. But you can definitely try and get a sample size of the other ones if you have sensitive skin. But I would not suggest it for those that do have sensitive skin. It's going to burn. It hurt really bad. You've been warned. Okay. Next thing that everyone talks about is the Wet n Wild palettes. The little trios. These are a cult product and this is definitely a product that YouTube made me buy it. And since they made me buy it, I have never put these things down. Just saying. I have so many of them. I counted today. I have 12. I have 12 trio palettes. That includes, you know, the ones that 
are limited edition like this one, but it also includes the ones that are staples in the line like these. So, just some ones that are my absolute favorite that I would definitely suggest to everyone is Walking on Eggshells. I've gone through so many palettes of this, it's ridiculous. This is a must-have in my collection, and I will never get rid of it. Um, I need a new one now, but it's perfect for beginners. It's light. It goes on really smoothly, and the pigmentation on all these shadows is out of this world. Um, another one that is my favorite is Sweetest Candy. If you like more of that pinky color, then I would definitely do that. That's a great base. You can see Zazzle behind me. <laughs> and then if you want a classic smoky eye, I'd definitely go for Don't Steal My Thunder. This one is perfect for that. So, those are just a couple of my favorites. Definitely think that those wet materials are worth the hype. Forever and ever, amen. Yeah. So, the next product that I think is worth the hype is the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. The great thing about this foundation is that it's formulated for two different skin types. So, you have some for normal to dry skin and some for oily to combo. I have normal to dry because my skin tends to get drier with all like the products I've been putting on recently. It's gotten dry for some reason. It doesn't know what it's going to be. I don't really know. But I have one that's oily to combo right here and then I have normal to dry. So, kind of use them interchangeably. Anyway, I love this foundation. It goes on really smooth. The only thing that I don't like about it is it, also, it does not have a pump. So you gotta, that's the only thing I don't like. But everything else is awesome about it. It's a great formula. It goes on really smoothly. It blends in really well. All in all, I would definitely repurchase it. Actually, I have like a thousand times. This was like my cult holy grail favorite until I found Sephora's. Yeah. The last thing that we're going to be talking about today is Urban Decay Shadows. Now, this is my first kind of look at Urban Decay shadows. I'd always heard about them, but I'd never, you know, and I'm not saying like this palette in particular is like the worth the hype palette, because sometimes I'm like, this is not worth the hype. But something it has introduced me to is the pigmentation of these shadows. Wet n Wild, not Wet n Wild, <laughs> Urban Decay has some absolutely amazing, amazing shadows. And the pigmentation on all of these is out of this world. If nothing else, getting this palette has made me realize that I need to try more Urban Decay shadows. And so, what I'm about to actually start doing is making my own quad because I love them so much. They are so pigmented, they stay on so well, and the shimmer ones, OMG, like, are you for real, for real? Because I'm for real, for real, and they're legit. So... Definitely say that all the Urban Decay shadows are worth the hype. I would definitely give them a try. If you don't want to spend the 50 something dollars to get an actual palette from them, just get like one or two shades that you like. Not bad. Not bad at all. Create your own quad and just do it one at a time. Girl, when you're on a budget, you gotta do what you gotta do, okay? Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of Is It Worth the Hype? And let me know, do you think all these products are worth the hype? I don't know. I like to hear all your opinions. If you like this makeup look and this lip, be sure to check out the blog on Thursday for a face of the day. I'm calling it the mauve. It's featuring this quad and then my mauve out of here lipstick by Wet n Wild. So be sure to check it out on Thursday. Like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you think these products are worth it. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.